Welcome to my channel. This is today's episode of Daily News Clips. But before I get to that, I have to thank you for my channel, for the growth, for the comments, for all the wonderful things that are going on. My mind is completely blown. This is amazing. The people that come to my channel are amazing. You're amazing. And I'm so blessed to be a part of this. So thank you very much. I have a few articles today. The first one is titled, Washington Post Triggered by All the Women Quitting Birth Control Issues Article Warning of Misinformation. Now, what I wanted to read to you is something in this article that I read that I, I it, it just, I was stunned that they, that they actually wrote this. The news outlet also claimed that the movement away from birth control is, quote, targeting a vulnerable demographic, people in their teens and early 20s who are more likely to believe what they see on their phones because of algorithms that feed them a stream of videos reinforcing messages often divorced from scientific evidence. Now, if you just think about that for one minute, that is so insulting. Basically what it's saying is, you young teenagers and you early 20s people, you're just too stupid to make decisions on your own. The Washington Post has to tell you what to do because you don't know enough to know. You don't have the ability to research. You don't have the ability to find out the truth. So we have to tell it to you. The arrogance is unbelievable. Here's another section. The pill does in fact, now this is, there, there's, there, the, the, the article is about women going away from the pill because of some of the negative attributes of it. So now here we are with the Washington Post saying, you're too stupid to figure this out on your own. And then they follow it up with this. The pill does in fact change the pheromones emitted by a woman's body and can influence how partners are chosen according to a 2018 study published in the National Library of Medicine. Further, according to the Mayo Clinic, weight gain, breakthrough bleeding, headaches, nausea, elevated blood pressure, and bloating are common side effects of combination birth control pills which contain both estrogen and progestin. The pill can also increase the risk of blood clots, heart attacks, and other health issues. But you're stupid if you don't take the pill. A 2016 study published by JAMA Psychiatry looked at over a million Danish women over age 14 and found all forms of hormonal contraception were associated with an increased risk of developing depression. But you shouldn't be towing away from the pill because we know better than you. The arrogance is just unbelievable. I mean, it is, it is over the top. It's beyond belief that these people are this arrogant. I mean, really, what in the world, what, what planet do these people live on that they can say these things and in the same breath talk about all of the side effects? You know what it reminds me of? When you're watching television and you see all these ads for for different uh, prescription medicine that they advertise all the time, I don't know if they do that in Europe, but here in America they're constantly advertising for prescription medication, and they'll tell you about how oh so wonderful it is and it's just really great and it does this for you and it does that for you, and then at the end in a very low and fast voice they'll say there are some side effects like you could die. Like you could go crazy. I mean, it just it just blows my mind that the media is so arrogant and so full of themselves that they can't even see how stupid they are. Now here's another one that kind of irked me. A Texas judge ordered the release of illegal aliens after they mobbed National Guard troops and tried to take their weapons away from them. <coughs> the, U 
The incident reportedly kicked off when Texas National Guard soldiers allegedly separated some women and children while attempting to create smaller groups for processing. Hundreds of foreign nationals seized upon this as an excuse to riot and overwhelm the guardsmen. A National Guard source told the New York Post that one migrant attempted to grab a soldier, soldier's firearm. Other migrants were apparently armed with knives and other stabbing utensils. These people were willing to assault military, said the source. They were willing to assault law enforcement. They have complete disregard for our laws. But the judge let them off on their own recognizance. <sighs> Boy, we have a long ways to go in this country. We really do. I don't know if it's like this in Europe. I, I hope it's not but I fear that it is. And then there's this that was just beyond the pale, absolutely beyond the pale. A proclamation on Transgender Day of Visibility 2024. And what day does the president choose to do his proclamation? Easter Sunday. Look, I have no problem with President Biden doing a proclamation on Transgender Day of Visibility any other day of the year, but Easter Sunday, really? You might as well just spit in the face of every Christian. No, you not might as well, you did. And you should be ashamed of yourself. But he won't be, he won't be. And the last item I have is a Prager video talking about Woodrow Wilson as the founder of big government. I thought it was very interesting. It's a five minute video and you can watch it if you want. I'll put it in the description and you can watch it if you, if you want to. Uh, Woodrow Wilson was the first president that the United States had who arrived in the office with the belief that the government was our benefactor. And you see, this is something that a lot of people don't talk about, but I'm going to talk about it. Basically, when you live your life, you are dependent on one of two forces, one of two, for what happens to you. The one is God. If you put your faith in God, then God will take care of you. Read it in Matthews where he talks about taking care of the lilies of the field. They sow not, neither do they reap, yet they flourish. That's because of God. Look at the birds. The birds are taken care of because of God. The alternative is the state. Now, a lot of people don't want to look at it that way, but that's what it is. If, you're, if your quote-quote religion isn't God then it's the state. You think the state is supposed to take care of you and take care of everyone else. And trust me, the state is not trustworthy. No state ever is. Good citizens should work hard to keep the state at arm's length because the state is never going to have your best interests at heart. They only have their own. And they grudgingly take care of you. Here in the United States, they care more about illegal immigrants coming across the border than they do about citizens who were born and raised here. That should tell you something about how reliable the state is to take care of you. So that's the news for the day. As always, I pray for you. I pray that you will have an abundant life, that you'll live a long time, and that you'll be healthy, and that God will keep you safe from harm. I pray that he'll do the same for every single person that you love. And I pray most of all that you will be anxious for nothing, but in all things, through prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, you'll make your requests known to God. And the peace that passes all understanding will keep your heart and mind in Christ Jesus. This is the Vietnam era vet, out. <laughs>